gloomy sticky start out there this morning, but the winds will start to pick up and we could see a few isolated showers from Jose, but chances are very low of that happening and the best chance for that will also be to the east of the river. What? Thanks to Jose moving up towards New England, it's actually going to wrap some drier air in the storm. So those clouds will start to break up as we head through the evening hours. And then this starts our dry and sunny stretch starting tomorrow on into the weekend ahead. And instead of feeling like late September, it's going to feel like early to mid August with highs primarily staying above 80 degrees all week. You can already start to see a few breaks in the clouds right now in our York Sky Cam. Still mostly cloudy right now uh, over the White Rose City and temperatures are in the lower 70s, but notice those dew points right now sitting in the upper 60s. It is 75 in Lancaster, 74 at this hour in Harrisburg and 76 if you're watching us in Chambersburg. And notice those dew points sitting high in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. They're near that 70 degree mark right along the shore as well. And notice the winds have started to pick up along the shore up to 18 miles per hour sustained in Atlantic City 10 right now in Harrisburg. We could see some wind gusts up near 20 miles per hour as we head through the afternoon into the evening. But notice here on the uh, Super Doppler 8 live radar, the amount of clouds they've decreased. It's all thanks to the drier air being pulled in from the northeast on the northern side of Jose. So just a slim chance of a few isolated showers through the day today. That drier air will continue to be pushed into the valleys. We head through the evening hours and for tonight. So skies will continue to clear, but I'm not ruling out an isolated shower for our eastern counties. And that added sunshine this afternoon will pop those temperatures back up to near 80 degrees. Overnight tonight, it's going to be mostly clear and comfortable. Temperatures will hold in the mid 60s and then we'll keep the breezy conditions around for tomorrow. But notice the temperatures back up into the lower 80s. Wind gusts tomorrow could be as high as 25 miles per hour. Here's the latest on Maria again, Category 5 hurricane. It's working its way to the north and to the west and will impact St. Croix and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands as we head through the evening tonight. Catastrophic wind damage is likely with the storm. As we head into the uh, morning, hours tomorrow. It moves over Puerto Rico and then it looks like it scrapes the northern shoreline of the Dominican Republic. And then as we head through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, that's when the United States mainland will have to keep a close eye on this storm as it will be working its way just to the north and to the east of the Bahamas towards the weekend. North of that is Jose. You can see how ragged Jose is right now. Yes, we've got some impressive cloud structure on the northern side of the storm, but the southern side of the storm is ingesting some drier air. So you can see how the wind field and right Right now, Category 1 hurricane, it's moving off to the north right now at 7 miles per hour. So once again, here's that track. Storm remains a Category 1 hurricane until we head into, I think, this evening weakens back down to a tropical storm. Then it becomes a remnant, remnant low as we head into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. May just bring some breezy conditions along uh, the northeastern shoreline up towards New England in the coming days. So watch what happens here on the predictor as Jose works up towards New England, brings in that drier air. So lots of sunshine will be around starting on Wednesday. Wednesday. High pressure will keep things fairly quiet and a little on the sticky side, but still comfortable for tomorrow with highs holding in the lower 80s. And that ridge of high pressure continues to intensify and build directly overhead as we head into Thursday. So very little day to day change after today. Temperatures holding in the low to mid 80s with warm, breezy, sticky conditions. First day of fall will be on Friday, but it's going to feel more like summer. That's also the case for the first few days of the, for the fall on into the weekend. Ahead. Ooh, how about that? And, yeah. uh, Hurricane Jose still out there, right? Still out there right now, Jose, at this point in time, you know, some dangerous rip currents, some heavy surf, but gusty winds. But also other than that, you know, it's a good hit. It's a good miss for the U.S. Uh